Hi, I'm Don, your App Bazinga trainer. In this quick overview, we're going to cover the four key things that have to happen for every App Bazinga application. First, you need a name. Secondly, an icon. Third, you need some kind of screen or action. And number four, you have to download your application. The first step is very important. Coming up with a great name for your app. I've picked a rather generic one, DMC40, simply for this demo. You also have to check the box that says, I understand these copyright laws before you can save your app name. When you click the Save button, it actually begins building the basic structure for your app. As you can see here, this only takes a few seconds to accomplish. DMC40 was created successfully, and a box pops up showing you what the next steps are. All you have to do is click on the Continue to this app's control panel to go to the next step. The Application Options panel opens up. This is a control panel which allows you to do a multitude of different things with your app. There are instructions on it, and to the left you will see a complete list of the things that you can do. The first one we're going to do is apply an icon. Having your own unique icon for your app is an important part of the app building process. As you can see, I've already created a 72 pixel by 72 pixel icon and I'm going to upload it now into my app. If it's a little off size you can adjust it here. Save it. You get an icon uploaded successfully message and your new icon will appear in the display to the right. You can upload multiple times until you're satisfied with the icon look that you have achieved. Click the Done button and we return to the Application Options section. There are a number of choices available but the next one we're going to use is the Screens and Actions button. Because this is a new app, we don't have any screens or actions selected as yet, so the first thing we're going to have to do is add a new one. The first thing we need to do is enter a nickname for the new item. It can be just about anything you want, but it should relate to the topic for your application. Then we need to choose a building block type. As you can see here, there are a lot of available choices, and we will be going into each of them on separate training sessions. This shows you the range and power that's available to, for your App Bazinga app. For our overview, however, we're going to do something fairly simple and just pick a simple menu. Click the Add button, and a screen pops up showing you that, okay, the home menu has been created successfully. As you can see, there are on-screen instructions assisting you on almost every step. We could continue adding new items, another home menu, other choices, but for our purposes of this overview, we've already created our basic application, so we're going to go back to the application home. Once we're back at the application home selector, there are a number of things that we can do. However, since we've completed our demo application, let's download the source code into Eclipse. We can build and download source code for both the Apple product line and for the Android product line. For our purposes, we're going to package the project source code for the Android Eclipse system and then download the zip archive and save it on my local hard drive. I've already created a folder to save it in. So I'll click OK, save it on my computer, and open the archive in my Eclipse compiler. I already have the Android virtual device running, so as soon as it opens, we can see what the app is going to look like. I unlock it in the simulator, go down to the menu bar, select that, and there's our icon for our new app right there on my Android virtual device. We'll cover each of these steps in detail in the next series of training videos. Thank you.